Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. I am here with my December pre-plan. Um, if you hear cars driving by, I'm actually at the park <laughs> recording my voiceover because it was kind of loud at the house. So I just came out because I really wanted to get a video uploaded for you guys. So for this December um, spread... I decided to use, of course, another journaling kit, um, which came with the bigger size pieces of deco, as well as the smaller ones from just a regular journaling kit. So one journaling, one monthly sheet. And I did go ahead and pull in my grid washi, which I've been loving grid washi lately. Um, this one specifically is from Michaels, and I thought it looked really good. That mustard just looked really good um, for this kit. It's actually a little bit lighter, like duller in person, but yeah, it looks really good. So for my up area, I pulled in the torn paper, added some florals, um, put bits and pieces here and there. I pulled in my um, winter flowers from last year from Sadie's Stickers and the winter date topper to get the spread going. And I really like how this area turned out. So I don't have, well, no, I do. I actually have uh, a few things going on um, this month. The first thing being it is... Uh, baby's birthday he will be four years old so I'll be marking that I also have my baby shower on the 11th so I'm marking that I have some OB appointments paydays Christmas Christmas Eve or Christmas Eve Christmas and New Year's that I need to get down since I'm doing a pre-plan those those are the things that I'll be putting down so I have both of my top um, portions done and my December script is from Recollections sticker book. Um, you guys see me pull this out before in other videos, um, but if you want to um, know which one, I'll link it in the description box. I pulled in these beautiful um, Monday through Sunday scripts from Letters to Apollo. I just love the little um, ending, the little, I don't know what you call that, but I love that at the end, the tail end of the Y. I thought that looked really good. I also pulled in the dangles from her shop, which I've never used these. Um, I think I used them one time in a weekly spread, but I thought they looked really cute for Christmas, so I pulled those in. And I'm not going to make you guys stay the whole time I'm putting these down. So boom, we are almost done putting them down now. And I love the front on these. They just look really Christmassy to me. So, like I said, on the 7th is baby's birthday, so I wanted to go ahead and mark that. Pulled in a silver squared box from Alyssa's Craft Shop, a box from the kit. Happy birthday script is a leftover to mark that. And I'm also marking Hello Winter. I pulled in the deco piece of the stamp, which I really love using those in a blotch. Um, or swashy blotch um, and then the hello December script is from Meg B makes moving down to the 24th and the 25th added a little bit of florals and a winter date topper from Sadie stickers to mark Merry Christmas or it says Merry Christmas Eve that's from letters to Apollo and then the Christmas Day script is from a printable from Paper Crown Planner. So because this is a pre-plan, I didn't want this to look too naked. I wanted to go ahead and pretty fold it up so that it makes you, you know, want to come back to 
the spread and fill everything in. So here I am going to be marking my 28 week OB check that I had. And then I wanted to mark the next one the same way, which is on the 15th. I'll be getting my ultrasound that day and I'll be 30 weeks, I believe. Yeah, 30 weeks in a couple days um, on that day. And then on the, la on the 11th, with the arch from the kit, I am marking the baby shower. And then I just went back in to add this Christmas tree from Sadie Stickers. Um, because, yeah, it's Christmas Day. On the 21st, I'm marking Hello Winter using the oval from the kit in a little present box to mark Hello Winter script again from Meg B. Makes. And then I just wanted to go ahead and fill in this area because, you know, normally we get the boxes, the decorative boxes to fill in the days that we don't use. But because I don't have that, I just used the other piece of the torn paper, which I have no problem um, using because I love them so much. So I used that and that looked really good. And then I'm just adding some more florals and foiled um branches from Sadie stickers and then the last thing that I'm marking here is New Year's Eve on the 31st oh yeah so I did want to also put in some payday so I'm marking a payday on the 9th and then a payday on the 23rd and these scripts are a leftover that I pulled so yeah I also wanted to fill out a decorative sidebar for this monthly and I really wanted to use a fashion doll as well I was like do I want to use the deer um in this area or should I just put a fashion doll so because I already used the deer at the top I just went ahead and used the fashion doll on the sidebar here so I hope you guys are having a wonderful December so far for me. Um, it is a good December start. However, unfortunately, baby is sick. Um, so I'm dealing with that. That normally happens around this time when it gets colder. This asthma flares up. Allergies flare up. Cough start. And yeah, so I am getting him better as we or as I'm doing this voiceover I'm trying to get him better um and just thinking about Christmas and different things that I want to do movie nights baking cookies I procrastinated getting the Christmas tree up but there's always another day to do that so that is it for this video I hope you all enjoyed it if you did, please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I'm going to end with a little bit of music and a pan over. Mm -hmm.